Hi, this is Jeb Hensel from Portland, Oregon. Today I'm going to show you how to build a jig to build handholds in beehive boxes. What you see there is a uh, completed jig. It uh, has a sled that holds the box piece and then it, it runs transverse to the blade blade itself is tilted 15 degrees towards me and the sled itself is also 15 degrees uh, which then makes a, a nice pocket uh, handhold so uh, I'll go through how I built it and you'll get to see here in a second uh, what they look like I'm using a uh, adjustable dado blade set to about a half inch width. You could set anything you want. This is a standard table saw. I'm actually standing to the right of the table saw. Normally you would be standing uh, um, in the foreground here. You can just see the dado blade underneath the sled as it's spinning there. I made, took this piece of plywood and uh, laid two strips in the uh, grooves in my table saw and uh, actually then just uh, glued and stapled it together so that it uh, will fit. You can see the grooves there in the table saw. So this fits in there um, and is held, in, held uh, nicely in place. Uh, and I'm going to run my sleds across this because they need to run uh, transverse to the to the normal direction of the table saw. So this is a jig for uh, cutting boards at an angle. I have it set to more or less 15 degrees and you can see how it cuts a board at an angle as this piece slides through it uh, has, makes the fence effectively have a, have a 15 degree angle. Uh, you could make one of these uh, quite simply. Uh, this one happens to be hinged on the end and, and is adjustable to different degrees. Uh, so then I ran the wedges through the saw to reduce this uh, uh, length or width here to more, uh, not quite a point, but uh, shorter. It's been my experience using the dado blade that uh, the, the ones I have are smaller and so uh, having this distance shorter means that the blade has to rise out of the table saw less. Next I'm going to make two sleds that are use the wedges uh, and a piece of quarter inch plywood to uh, um, uh, to hold it up at the right angle so I'll end up within a table that's at 15 degrees. So now I have two sleds. Uh, one will be for the long side of the box and one will be for the short side. So now I've added uh, two runners so that this piece can slide back and forth. Of course the saw blade is oriented this way uh, and so this is going to run into the saw from the side. Uh, one of the sleds was just a little bit narrower and so I had to add a little piece along here to make it the same width as the other one. That's uh, really just a carpentry error on my part. Uh, make sure when you're putting in these two runners that you use the wider of the two sleds and then adjust the narrow one accordingly. So here's the uh, final jig. Uh, you can see on the far side there I had to shorten up the uh, runner. Um, if I was to do this over again I would have made the um, little sleds longer than the 19 and 7 8 plus uh, some some edges so uh, for example I would have made this sled this sled is for the short side on a eight frame box but I would have made this sled I could have made both sleds um, uh, maybe two inches longer than 
uh, the longest side, so maybe 22 inches instead of uh, just whatever I had here, I think about 16 inches, um, it would have made this process easier. I wouldn't have had to, to shorten that side because those runners would have been on the outside of the sled. But uh, it works fine for the short side. So what happens here is the, the short side board is uh, put in. It would be better to show you from this side. Short side board is put in. You can see the, you can see the blade under here. So the short side board is put in here, held with both thumbs, and then pushed through until it hits this stop over here. Again, if I was to do it over again, I would have made this table um, instead of, uh, yeah, let me see how long it is here. Mine happens to be 19 inches long. I would have made it maybe 24 inches long, so I could have just nailed a stop. Could have just nailed a stop out here on the board. It's, it wouldn't have mattered, but this just happens to be what I had. Um, but this underboard should be uh, maybe 24 by by uh, uh, 24 by 24 would work, and then you could uh, put these lower runners on, or the under runners wouldn't matter, but you could put the lower runners on so that they were wide enough to hold a sled that was as that would uh, including these little pieces to hold the board in place would hold the longest side uh, in place as well but anyway so you put it on here turn on the table saw and run it in uh, like so from the side bring it back and you have a have one that looks like this now this is the first one I cut and you can see I made a little mistake there but uh, I'll show you another one that I made uh, here, so it looks pretty good. And uh, if you want a bit more undercut there, you can uh, make the angle of the blade a little bit more than, than 14 degrees. Uh, so there you go. So here are the last three handles that I did. And here's what happens when you don't move the sled, but just move the uh, try to move the board out of the way. Still usable, just not as pretty. Well, there you go. It's a nice looking uh, handle for your beehives. Hope you enjoy.